evening. Okay, good evening. We are going to start with this new session. Uh, we are in the session number three. Uh, in this case, we are almost done with the first uh, week. So the time is going really fast. So we are going to begin with the um, with the information that we have for this week. Uh, I mean, for this day and for this session. You know that we are working on the session number one and two of the platform. And we are going to complete the topics that we have on the section number two. Remember that I am coming a couple of minutes uh, before the hour. So in this case, we are like uh, beginning this session earlier. So uh, we are going to start right now. And of course, we are going to like make good evening make like a short review for the others when they are in the meeting. But you know that we need to have this time. So we need to take this a uh, couple of minutes to complete um, the hour and then we are going to see the other things that we are going to do today. So in the previous uh, sessions, we were talking about different topics and we were talking about something related to the introduction we were introducing ourselves uh, we were talking about also um grammar things grammar topics uh, because we were talking about the possessive adjectives yesterday we were talking about um other topics and in this case uh, there are part of the process and in this case uh, remember that we were talking about the the importance of the topics that we were developing and why we need to um, like remember these topics or to understand the use of these topics. In this case, we were talking about the WH questions. And it's very important because we are going to use this information um, to communicate with others. And we are going to continue seeing uh, topics related to the WH uh, questions and also how to give information related to those questions. We have on the document the information that we need to know related to these words. But also, today we are going to see something related to a vocabulary because I was saying yesterday that we are going to see a vocabulary today. It's not like we are going to have a list. It's not going to have like, uh, different images or something like that. Uh, we are going to make something different with the vocabulary. Um, in this case, we are going to uh, like listen the word. We are going to make some examples with that word. And we are going to talk about what is like the activity or the things that the people are doing in that um, vocabulary because it is related to something that we are doing in our daily life. Vamos a, a ver un vocabulario, pero en este caso no es un vocabulario como cuando estamos en, en los inicios, ¿verdad? De, de, nuestro, um, de nuestro proceso de adquisición del idioma. En este caso vamos a tratar de ir un poco más allá, no simplemente dando, ah, this is the vocabulary, I have these words. And we are going to know what is this um, vocabulary about. In this case, we are going to give something more practical. Vamos a hablar de información, ¿verdad? A qué se refiere cada una de las palabras que vamos a estar viendo. 
Y también vamos a tratar de hacer algunos ejemplos con esas palabras. And we are going to see, but give me a moment. I think I have here or not. Yes. I have here this uh, thing. So in this case, we are going to talk about two different topics. We are going to see a vocabulary and we are going to see a grammatical topic. And tomorrow, that is the last day of this week, so we are going to complete the four uh, days of this um, uh, of this uh, moment, in this case, the four days, the, the first four days. And the last day, we are going to see another topic that is related to grammar, we can say, but they are expressions that we can use when we are using the different tenses. And we are going to see a list of uh, expressions and words that we can use in different moments of time. And also we are going to work in a schedule. Mañana vamos a trabajar eh, expresiones, ¿verdad? De tiempo que vamos a utilizar con los diferentes eh, momentos, ¿verdad? En este caso estamos hablando de pasado, presente y futuro. Y vamos a trabajar en cómo crear nuestro propio eh, no un horario como tal, like a checklist or something like that. No vamos a hacer un, una lista, ¿verdad?, de actividades o un to-do list, como realmente eh, logramos hacerlos nosotros en nuestra vida diaria. We are not going to make this kind of list in which you are, like, writing um, notes or something like that, saying, ah, today I need to, um, to make, like, a document. I need to... Uh, go to the doctor or something like that. We are going to see an example of a schedule. So in this case, it's like a conversation, a casual conversation in which we are going to explain uh, what are the things that we are doing um, in our uh, day or in our week when we are doing uh, all the activities that we are performing in our um, normal, like we can say, um, Our normal day, what are the activities that we perform in one day? Así que para mañana vamos a tratar de trabajar en el schedule o el, vamos a explicar, ¿verdad? Cuáles son las actividades que nosotros hacemos en un día. Normalmente podemos utilizar eh, uno de los días más uh, pesados o ocupados que tengamos para poder hacer este schedule. Y va a ser un poco más variado porque así vamos a poder... Um, meter muchas más actividades, explicar mucho más y ver cómo se utiliza esto de los schedules when we are practicing the English language. So, we are going to begin with the topic that we are going to develop today. And in this case is uh, the part of the vocabulary. But we are going to see the video that is a conversation that is called Where do you work? Where do you work? And we are going to uh, listen and pay attention to the things that they are, they are saying in this conversation. So let's begin with this one. I'm going to share the sound. We have the conversation here. Hi, everyone. Welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Where do you work at? Okay, we have here the conversation. And we have, like, different questions that they are making, so that's why I was saying 
that is very uh, necessary that we can use the WH uh, words to obtain a specific information in this case when we need to know something um like we can say like uh, it's something uh we are not going to uh, uh, answer or give extra information in this case we need just a specific thing and we are going to make this kind of questions to obtain that information in this case we have the first question where do you work tenemos ahí nuestra primera pregunta where do you work donde trabajas in this case i'm not going to give a lot of information because i'm going to be very specific because i am giving that exact information aquí yo no necesito dar nada extra aquí yo voy a dar exactamente lo que necesito dar y la respuesta es i work at thomas cook travel i work at thomas cook travel Ahí ya le decimos dónde estamos trabajando nosotros. Oh, really? What do you do there? What do you do there? ¿Qué haces ahí? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in, in South America, like Peru. So in this case, eh, this person is a guy. Es un guía, ¿verdad? Un guía turístico que lleva a las personas, ¿verdad? Por estos eh, tours en los países del de sur de América, por ejemplo, en países como lo es Perú. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? ¿Qué haces tú? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Tell me, Blanca. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Uh, Ms. Good evening. Uh, Good um, evening. I I have a question in Tell the cook travel. Um, ¿Cuál sería como el significado de de cook travel? Porque me confunde. Porque si yo lo veo en, en lo traduzco al español no cocinando viajes, pero pero ¿cuál sería como la mejor interpretación para entender el término? Gracias. Okay. In, You're welcome. En este caso, Thomas Cook sería el nombre. Thomas, name, Cook, the last name, travel, es lo que se le pone, ¿verdad? A, los, a, los, a las empresas de viajes. Entonces sería como eh, la empresa de viaje de Thomas Cook. En este caso no es necesario que le hagamos la traducción, porque si ustedes se fijan, este nombre eh, lleva mayúsculas. Quiere decir que es un nombre propio. Thomas Cook es el nombre de la persona que quizás fundó esta empresa y Travel eh, obviamente nos hace referencia a que hacen viajes, ¿verdad? Es como decir, eh, no sé, alegrías, Travel, el viaje, podríamos traducirlo como el viaje de alegría, pero en este caso solo es el nombre de la empresa. Aquí es el nombre de la empresa, Thomas Cook Travel. Así que sí puede ser muy confuso a veces, pero en ah, este okay. caso... En este caso tenemos que fijarnos si lleva mayúsculas o minúsculas y como lleva mayúsculas es un nombre. Sí. Gracias, gracias. You're welcome. Gracias. Okay, so in this case he's saying that he is a student, but he has a part-time job. Tiene un trabajo eh, parcial, verdad, de medio tiempo. Y le pregunta, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? In a fast food restaurant, en un restaurante de comida rápida. Y luego dice, which, aquí ya estamos agregando otra WH word, which restaurant, ¿cuál restaurante? Hamburger Heaven, en el cielo de las hamburguesas. That's the name of the place. In some cases, when we are like having this kind of conversation, we are not going to translate the names of the, uh, the places. In this case, when we are talking about the hamburger heaven, we are going to say the hamburger heaven. No vamos a decir el cielo de las hamburguesas. Igual pasa en español que cuando estamos en otro país, el nombre se mantiene de la misma forma. No vamos a ir allá y cambiarle el nombre al pollo campero. In this case, vamos a decir pollo campero. We are not going to change the name because it is like the name of this specific place. So in that case, it is not necessary to translate the names we can do it but it is not like the best thing that we are going to do with the names because in this case is proper nouns so 
Uh, we have this conversation in which we are making these uh, kind of questions. En esa conversación tenemos muchas um, de esas preguntas, ¿verdad? Con WH words. Tenemos, where do you work? What do you do? Uh, what do you do there? Um, what do you do? Where do you work? Which restaurant? Ahí tenemos aproximadamente one, two, three, four, and five questions. We have five different questions. Um, but what I uh, why I am doing this kind of questions because I need information. And I am uh, looking for this specific information. Maybe I am having a conversation and I um I just trying to uh, make this conversation kind of longer. Quiero hacer esta conversación un poco más larga. En ese caso, ¿qué voy a hacer yo? Ask some questions. I need to ask different things. For example, um, we are meeting someone for the first time and I need to know something else about this, uh, the, this person. For example, I am in a meeting in a hotel. Estamos en una reunión en un hotel. Y encuentro a alguien que me llama la atención and we are not talking about something related to this kind of relationship. In this case, we are talking about this kind of people that we see in different places that we want to talk with that person. Es interesante porque queremos conversar con esa persona porque tal vez tenemos eh, gustos parecidos. Quizás ya escuchamos que esa persona habló de algo que nos interesó. Entonces queremos platicar con esa persona so in this case, we are going to um, try to make this kind of conversation and we are going to ask different questions. Uh, for example, where do you live? Um, what do you do? Que en este caso, el what do you do, lo utilizamos para preguntar qué hace la otra persona, ¿verdad? De qué trabaja, de qué vive, ¿verdad? Um, and when we have the answers, we can make another questions related to that information that the people is giving to us. Es como en este caso de um, what do you do? En el caso de, de lo que le preguntaba Andrea a Jason. What do you do? ¿Qué haces? Y él responde I am a student and I have a part-time job. Aquí tenemos dos palabras claves. I am a student, part-time job. I can make two different questions. What do you study? ¿Qué estás estudiando? Y la otra, que es la que ella le preguntó, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? So in this case, we can make this conversation like very um, informal. Podemos hacerla muy informativa. Okay. But in this case, we're not just going to talk about the WH uh, question and the WH um, words. In this case, we are going to talk about jobs or a vocabulary that is related to jobs. Because in this case, we have the information about the WH question. Ya tenemos esa información. Ahora lo que necesitamos es crear este vocabulario, expandir el vocabulario de los jobs, de las palabras relacionadas con el trabajo. So in this case, we are going to expand or make uh, this vocabulary kind of longer, kind of bigger also. Okay, so we are going to talk about the jobs. But give me a second. I'm going to do something. Okay, in this case, I was saying that this vocabulary is going to be kind of different. Because in this case, we are going to see the word, but also we are going to talk about what is the thing that the people are doing in this job. Vamos a hablar de este tipo de vocabulario, no simplemente vamos a decir, ah, um, for example, a fireman. What is a fireman in Spanish? Ah, es un bombero, and that's it. No, in this case, we are going to do something different. We are going to um, have this information. We are going to see the word, what do they do, and where do they work? Vamos a ver la palabra, o sea, vamos a hablar del trabajo, vamos a hablar de qué es lo que hacen esas personas, cuál es su oficio, y 
¿Dónde trabajan estas personas? ¿Cómo se llama el lugar o en qué lugares podemos encontrar a estas personas? En este caso, vamos a hacer un vocabulario. It's not like kind of long. No va a ser tan largo. We are going to see, let me see. Like 26, 27 words. Van a ser como 26, 27 palabras. No vamos a hacer un, un vocabulario de 100 palabras. Just 26, 27 words. And we're going to see what they do uh, in this kind of jobs and in which places they are working. And we are going to talk about uh, some expressions also related to this uh, topic. So we are going to begin with the vocabulary. So for today, we are going to make this one like in the next page here. I'm going to write here day number three. Okay, the topic that we are going to develop right now is a vocabulary. And this one is related to jobs. Okay. I'm going to do it like 20. Then I'm going to add the others. Okay. In this case, we have here the word, or in this case, the job. Then what do they do? Next one, where do they work? Like this. So the first one is the word accountant. We're going to do it like this. Um, we are going to give all the information first and then we are going to see what are the, the meaning of these words later. So we're going to end first the ideas or the words that we have here. And then we are going to like, make a quick uh, translation of the words just to be sure about the meaning of these words in Spanish. But in this case, we are just going to focus on this, on this part. Then we are going to do the other one. So, accountants, what do they do? ¿Qué hacen esas personas? Look after the finances in an organization. Look after the finances in an organization. Based on the, uh, what do they do? We can understand what is this um, job about. And where do they work? They work obviously in an office. Next one, bakers. This one is very easy. Bake breads or bread. And they work in a bakery. Next one, barbers. Shea men's bir uh, birds and cut men's hair.
Next one, we have the barmen or bar women, and they serve drinks. They work in a bar, pub, or restaurant. Butchers. Prepare and sell meat. And they work in butchers. Tumber maids. Clean and tidy rooms. They work in a hotel. Chef, prepare and cook food. They work in a kitchen. Dentist. Look after people's teeth. <laughs> and they work in a dentist. In this case, it's the place in which they are like working. Doctors, look after people's health. And they work in a hospital or surgery. Fishmongers, fishmongers, prepare and sell fish. They work in a fishmonger. Like attendant. Look after passengers. They work in an airplane. In this case, because that is the place in which they are like uh, many of the time. Hey, dresser. Couldn't style people's hair.
In this case, we can find these people in a hair salon. Then we have the judge. Judge and sentence people. They work in a law court. They work in a law court. Then we have the lawyers. Defend and prosecute people. They work in a law court and in a lawyer's office. Next one, the nurses. And we have here. Teacher, I don't see. Tell me. Uh, estaba copiando y me quedé. Ah. No, don't worry about this. Um, I'm going to send the link. Don't worry, I'm going to do it. I know that um, you are waiting for the link, but I'm going to do it uh, in these days. And you're going to have this information. Ustedes van a tener esta información. Así que no es tan necesario que ustedes eh, vayan a la carrera, ¿verdad? Corriendo, copiando esta información. Ya que yo se la voy a enviar para que ustedes la tengan a mano. Así que en este momento no es eh, imprescindible que ustedes estén copiando la información. No se preocupen por eso. Ok, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. So, the nurses look after patients. And of course, they work in a hospital or in doctor surgery. But in this case, we are going just to have the work in a hospital. Then we have the optician that they look after people's eyesight. And they work in an optician. Then we have the porters. And in this case, they carry other people's bag in luggage. Carry other people's bags and luggage. And they work in a hotel or a train station. The receptionist. They meet and greet visitors. And they work in reception, but in this case, they are in hotels. And in other places, but we are going to focus on hotels.
I think I'm going to write two more words and then we are going to add the others at the the end of the um the class just to have the other examples. In this case, I'm just going to have 20. And then I'm going to add like the other six or seven that I have here. But it is like not to make this one kind of longer. They sell goods and look after customers. And they work in a shop. And the last one that we are going to add right now is secretaries. And they arrange appointments, type letters, and organize meetings. And in this case, we can find these kind of people in an office and in different places, but in this case, in an office. Okay, in this case, we have 20 different words related to jobs or what is people doing with their life. I know that we have a lot of words, a lot of uh, jobs, but in this case, we are not going to focus on all the jobs that we have in the world. We are just going to have like this short vocabulary because we are talking about this topic, but it is not necessary that we have like the whole thing. No es necesario que tengamos la, la, el vocabulario completo. Simplemente vamos a hablar de algunas cosas. So in this case, we have different jobs like um, contadores, tenemos eh, personas verdad que trabajan en una... Um, en hoteles, como lo son los recesionistas, los porteros, eh, secretarias o secretarios, enfermeros, doctores, cirujanos. We have a lot of words here, and we also see different places in which these people are working. Now, I need you to think that you are in a meeting with different people, and you need to talk with them. And you are going to think about the different questions that you can make to people. In this case, you are going to think about, yes, five different questions. Vamos a pensar en cinco preguntas diferentes que le haríamos a una persona que estamos conociendo en una reunión. ¿Qué preguntas le haríamos para conocer qué tipo de información? Para pensar cinco preguntas, in this case, you are going to use the WH words. And I'm going to give you time. You know that we are making this kind of uh, activities in which you have a couple of minutes to think about the information. And then you are going to tell me what are the questions that you are going to make to other people. En este caso, van a hacer cinco preguntas que ustedes le pueden hacer a personas que están conociendo por primera vez. Y... Después de los cinco minutos, porque en este momento son las 8.37, 41, 42. Um, cuando sean las 8.42 aproximadamente, you are going to write, or when you have the, the questions, you are going to write the questions on, mm, let me see. I'm going to do an, another document. Voy a hacer otro documento solo para sus preguntas. <clears throat> So I'm going to uh, take a new one. Para que no las escribimos en el chat, sino que las escribamos directamente en un documento. Give me a moment, give me a moment, give me a moment. Ustedes pueden ir pensando en sus preguntas mientras yo les creo este nuevo documento.
Okay, there you have the document in which you can write your questions. In this case, it's a blank document. And I'm going to see it when you are in the document. I'm going to see when you are writing your questions. Like this one is like <clears throat> in real time. So you can access with your um, account and then you can write your questions there. When you are done, after the five minutes, uh, we are going to see the document and when we are going to read the questions that you have there. So let's go. And if you have some troubles with the document, you can tell me. Si hay algún problema con el documento, ustedes pueden eh, decirme y vamos a tratar de resolverlo.
Okay, it's time to write the questions, please, so we can access to the document and write the different uh, questions that we are going to use to have um, a conversation with other people. For example, if you can see the document, if you can access to the document, I'm going to write some questions that you can use or maybe just examples. That is the first one that we see on the document. Okay, in the document, I add some questions so you can see the questions. And it says, what do you do? ¿Qué es lo que haces? How are you feeling today? ¿Cómo te estás sintiendo en este momento? Um, what is the best thing in your house? ¿Cuál es la mejor cosa en tu oficina? Questions. I don't know if you are listening because this... This thing is, is saying that I am not using this. So give me a second. different questions to talk with people and to understand what is the things they do in those places. I have four questions or five questions of the document. Remember that you need to, to participate on the activities because your name is there. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, ¿Es necesario escribirlo o lo vamos a decir las preguntas? No, es necesario escribirlo. Por eso les mandé el documento en blanco para que ustedes puedan escribirlo ahí. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Yo creo que le vamos a hacer hablar. Mm -hmm. Ahorita empiezo. Gracias. Don't worry. So we are going to see a little bit of the work that you are doing on the document. That is why I was like looking at the screen because I am watching you writing your examples. Okay, in this case, if you can see, we have a couple of questions and we have, where do you work? 
That is one of the questions that we can make. Where are you from? What is your favorite music? How old are you? What did you do again? There are many um, examples there. I'm going to mark these ones with other color. What you do with green? Mm -hmm. Then we have, who are you? That's interesting. What is your job? What do you do at work? Where is your workplace? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, Donde puedo compartir mis, my questions? I didn't listen in correctly. Es escucho un poco extraño. But if you are telling me um, in which place you can write your uh, questions, you can do it. I share on the group of WhatsApp. Or if you cannot access it, you can do it on the chat of the meeting. Teacher, yo escribí las mías, pero no supe cómo enviarlas allí. Um, no pudo entrar el documento. ¿Cómo no? Y las escribí ahí en el documento, pero no sé qué pasó porque no la pegó ahí. Um, let me see if I can, because I see something on the messages, I think. But give me a moment. Or this place. I don't know if this one's. Because I have uh, some. Uh... Hey, Igual yo lo compartí. Pero este es como un comentario que hice, ¿verdad? But... Yes, in this case, if going to like be on the messages or they are going to appear uh, in another page. Igual yo las compartí en el chat. Okay. Pero no aparecen las mías. Okay, Me no worry. Too. I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to read some of the questions that we have also on the chat. So we are going to see the examples here, but give me a second. So here we have some examples. What is your name? Where are you working? What do you do in your job? Where do you live? What do you do in your free time? Then we have, what are you cooking today? When is your birthday? Where do you work? Uh, when did you start working there? Why are you working? Do you like your job? What do you hate about your job? How much money do you earn? So those are the questions that we have on the chat. I'm going to stop this one for a moment and we're going to tell me. Eh, usted mandó eh, link en chat para ver lo de las tareas y eso. O es lo de la, la plataforma. No, les envié el link en el grupo de WhatsApp hace un par de minutos. Ya voy a verificar. Gracias. You're welcome. We have another one and it says, what is your name? Where do you work? What do you work there? What 
uh, do you do in your job? How much money do you earn in this case again? So in this case, don't worry if you cannot access to the document and you can do it later. So don't worry about that. The link is going to be on the group of WhatsApp so you can have the access to the document there. So you can practice or you can write your questions there later. In this case, we are just going to see the complete a uh, document uh, when we are done with the questions because we are going to end the session in a couple of minutes because we have just one more minute to complete this session so in this case we have a lot of examples there on the document if you can access to the document or the link you can see that we have a lot of questions right now if you can not access to the document, um, you can do it later and you can write your questions there. Ahí tenemos algunas preguntas. Si no pudieron accesar el documento, pueden hacerlo después y escribir sus preguntas para que estén completas en el documento. También voy a agregar el enlace para el otro documento. Ya se lo voy a enviar para que ustedes lo tengan de una sola vez y puedan re revisar la información que tenemos en el, en el documento. So, we are going to end this session and we are going to see each other tomorrow. So, have a really good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good teacher, have a good night. Okay. See you, good night. See you. See you. Good night, good night.